Hi, and welcome to this Android video series presentation on Model View Controller. Model View Controller is really the, it's referred to as a design pattern. It is really the design pattern for Android applications and many other mobile application platforms as well. Uh, Model View Controller is used in iPhone and iPad development with iOS. It is used in Android with Java. Uh, it is also used in Windows 8. It is a, a way to think about software development that separates the data in an application from the user's view from the way that operations are performed. The model is what the application is. The view is how the application looks and the controller is really what the application does. All communication between the model and the view is, happens through the controller through a couple of other patterns called target action and delegation. There are a lot of design patterns that come into play, but the overall design pattern is model view controller. So that's what we're looking at today. Right now, I'm looking at the layout of this very simple application. We have an edit text, we have a button with enter as the label, and we have a text view with a large text here, and, and uh, I've got that selected so you can see it. Uh, very simple layout. This is done in a relative layout. Uh, it's all very simple. Everything is centered uh, horizontally. This is the view, and the view, as we can see, is very non-intelligent. It really doesn't know much about anything at all. The only thing it really does know is that we have an edit text, we have a button, and we have a text view. And these have IDs, text view 1, button 1, and edit text 1. And then the only other thing that the view knows is that when this button is clicked, there's a method somewhere that call is, that's called button clicked that will do something when this button is clicked. So where is that method? Well that method is in the class that uses this view as its content, as its content view. And that class of course is main activity in this case. So main activity dot Java is essentially very simple. I've got an on create. I've also someplace out here got a class named model that I'm instantiating as M model as a new model and we'll look at that model class in a moment but in on create I have M model set delegate this and what is that saying that is saying that the model has a delegate property and I am setting that delegate property to this instance of main activity this is the object that represents the class main activity in our running program what this will do is allow the model to talk to this main activity. Main activity is the controller of our application. And of course the model is model.java. So now let's look at model.java. Here's model.java. We can see that I have an integer array um, of five integers, index 0 through 4. I've got an integer called index. Uh, that is currently set to zero and I've got a pointer named delegate that is currently set to null. Now delegate is of type main activity but we don't want to instantiate delegate. We want delegate to point to the main activity's actual object. If we instantiated delegate we would get a different main activity and this would probably be very very bad. In fact it would be bad. It would be bad because even if the program run, ran, delegate would not be speaking of the same class or the same object as main activity is speaking of when it has this. So how do we do this? How do we get the delegate to be the running instance of main activity? We pass main activities this and set the delegate. And we do that in the method set delegate. And we are looking for an object of type main activity and I'm just calling it D, D short for delegate. And then all I do is simply set the delegate equal to that. So that when main activity says mmodel.setdelegate this, 
we're getting that instance of main activity. And this is a setup for delegation. So now how does it all work? Well, model, model has a method called getAverage. And all that does is it gets the average of all of the elements of the that are currently in the array. Well, we don't want to get the average until there are all five elements in the array. Okay? So we're going to collect integers in our interface, in our view, pass them through the controller to the model in add to array. So as each integer is entered, I'm going to click on the button. And that takes the number, the string, out of the edit text and parses it out as a number, as an integer, integer.parsent, et, edit text, get text, to string, and then makes that an integer. And then it sets the edit text equal to null, and then it calls add to array on the model. So this is very normal, this is okay, and with that, with that integer. And add to array just adds that integer to the model. Now, we know what the delegate property is of model. It is pointing to the currently running instance of main activity. So, we go to the index of interray, the current index, and we set the element, and then we bump the index, and then we check and see if the index is equal to 5. Remember that interray has 5 integers, but the index, if it's equal to 5, then we're going to have an overrun. So we only want the indices 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. If the index is 5, we call array is full on the delegate. And of course, this is calling array is full on the model, or on the, I'm sorry, on the controller, which is the main activity. And then we set index back to 0 so that we don't overrun in the next iteration of filling up the array. So now what does this do? If we have five indices, then it calls array is full. This is the model's delegate, array is full. Now, a, an interface, a Java interface, is really just a class that is full of virtual methods. We don't specify the, uh, the, the implementation of these methods within the interface. We allow the class that adopts this interface, or the Java keyword is implements this interface, to actually specify those, uh, these methods, method bodies. So main activity implements the interface. It implements model delegate, which means we have a contract. Main activity must now implement these public methods of our interface. So here is our implementation of array is full. Now remember, when that array is full, when it has, when its index goes to five, or I should say its virtual index goes to five, then this method is going to be called. Now I'm going to go back and get an average. The model is the data. The model should give me the average because the model, no one else, not the controller, not the view, certainly not the view, the model should be the only thing that knows how to calculate an average. So now I jump back to the model and I call get average on the model, which gets the average of the five uh, indexed elements in the array. I get that back as a float. And then I find my text view and I set the text to a formatted string of the average. So now this is model view controller. It can be, the delegation doesn't have to be there. The target action really does have to be there to communicate between a controller and a view. Uh, but this is how communication happens. Notice that at no time do the view and the model ever communicate. All communication is happening through the controller. So we can think of the controller as the guy that runs the whole thing. He is the manager of this application. All right, so let's how this, see how this works. What I should expect is not to see anything in the text view under the button until I enter, until after I enter the fifth integer. So let's do a simple average here. One, two, three, four. 
and 5, and this should give me an average of 3. And there we go. It does. So now let's do another one. 12, 14, 13, 97, and 45. And my average is 36.2, and then this last digit of a float is probably a floating point runoff error, uh, but that's okay. We can clamp this to zero or whatever we want to do. So 36.2, and that's correct. So this is uh, the point of this of this video is not to do neat things with averages. That's just beside the point. The point is to illustrate a design pattern, an overarching design pattern known as model view controller that we use over and over and over again for all, and I emphasize the word all, Android applications. Thank you very much.